hello you guys welcome back to my channel and i'm gonna do me a cute little ponytail okay 72 inch hair i kind of fast forward this fast but go ahead and part the front part of your hair off and put a little clip on there and then you want to where you want to center it you want to first off start molding your hair that way so you get your rubber band mold one down then you go clamp that and then you just mold up that's how you get that sleek fleek look when you're doing a ponytail so you know you add just a little tad of gel and some um always spray to got and then go in with the how about to say go in with the microwave what the hell am i talking about go in with the blow dryer and just slick this up you want to comb it through brush it this is how you get that sleek 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 <laughs> slick look my voice so tongue tied and let me say something I'm tired. I don't feel like going over this video again, but now we're going to go ahead and do the front part. You do the front part the exact same way you have parted so, you know, it won't be bunched up. And do it just like how you did the back and go ahead and just mold that to the back. Clamp that down. Pull it up. Put your little jam or gel in there. Spray it with some spritz or to be got, got to be and go in with your brush then go in with your um, blow dryer and just go ahead and sleek this up very simple and easy nothing too major oh well, I don't know if I told you to be getting flat iron your hair so my hair was washed and flat iron I don't think I said that but yeah and I'm just going over it and I use that tip on the blow dryer because it doesn't go all it's be like it gets it straight to the point instead of it blowing all over the place so go ahead and do your front and go ahead and pull out them edges pull out as much edges as you like I'm just pulling my eyes out but I'm gonna tell y'all something I need some practice with them edges but practice make perfect so hey I'm gonna do what I gotta do but just go ahead and do this just the way I am doing it sleek it up slick it up put the gel put the jam spray it and then go over with the blow dryer then you got you a sleek little look and then it looks soft so it doesn't look hard you know it don't look hard with you but it looks soft to touch so i'm just going ahead and just brushing it all the way around so i can put in my last rubber band so i can make sure this is right Then I'm going in with some oil sheen and put me a clamp on there. So now I'm just brushing it up, you know, just going over it again, making sure everything is in place. So one part I didn't show y'all because the video was cut off. I got two, my pack of 72 inch hair come with three. So I combined two together. So when I combined the two together, I just wrapped it. The, uh, the rubber band part that's on there, you're going to wrap that around your ponytail part so do not cut that rubber band as you about to see with me coming up i don't know how i end up doing that in the video but it's gonna skip fast forward to i already got the ponytail on there so now you want to divide it into three sections so you divide your hair into three sections and you divide the braid in here into three sections oh go ahead and take your leave out part so the reason why you divide it into three sections because you want your hair in three the braid in here in three but you want to put it together and put some gel on it and like comb it through and like kind of tuck it so when you braid that your real hair won't be sticking out so you see how i put the gel on there and i kind of like twist it so i'm just doing both of this on both sides you like tucking the hair you putting your gel on there you tucking your hair so it can be your hair like in the middle of the um the weave here so it won't be sticking sticking out and that way when you go to braid everything will be smooth and i like this hair because it's not nappy so now you just want to go ahead and do a tight braid take your time with doing this tight braid there's no need to rush and this hair i like it because it like i said it doesn't tangle up and it's easy to break down but when you braid in 
make sure you constantly tuck it in your real hair just in case it comes out because you don't want that to be coming out because you don't want to have to cut that like who's about to cut their real hair so go ahead and just braid this all the way down and i got me a comb and you know if it get a little tangle i comb it down so go ahead and just braid this all the way down as you see that i'm doing but another part i'm about to do um this was the two hair pieces i left one out so now I'm going in to feed in with the last piece because this came with three. So I'm breaking these up and I'm going to feed these into my hair because I wanted it long. If you like yours short the way it was just right now, you can stop right now. But if you don't like me, I wanted mine a little bit longer because I am going to add some curly hair at the end. So I just need to bring this down some more. So now you can get your curly hair out. As you can see, I'm seeing how far along I wanted to go. Get your curly hair out and you can start feeding that into the end. I don't know if I did a video showing y'all how to feed in. I probably need to do something separate, but I have to have somebody because I want to show you up and close how, you know, how it is. But I can't show you in this video because it's just me recording, but go ahead and feed the curly hair in at the bottom now basically after I fed in the hair and I got it to lift I want I put a rubber band on the end but then when I put the rubber band on the end as you're gonna see when it's coming up the weave the not the hair that's curly the straight hair that's what I'm gonna wrap around the ends I mean around the edge so it can give it like that sleek look so I'm gonna put a rubber band on first and then I'm gonna pull out the braid in here and I'm gonna wrap that around the um, the end part where the rubber band is so it doesn't look like a rubber band is on there see as I put it on here and you will see me pick it out the um, straight here you put some gel jam on it square with some spritz and then you wrap that around the rubber band spray some spritz and then you know hit it with the blow dryer so it can stick and stay so now after this um i didn't want my curly hair long so i just end up chopping it off and um you know shaving it with the um the shears to thin it out so I use shears and scissors on this because I didn't want like a real big long bushy bush I just wanted something real small as you can see when I get to how I'm getting it so I'm shaving this down as much as I want but you can keep it the limb that you want it to be that's up to you then after you're done go ahead and put some mousse on there and you don't have to dip this because the way this hair is i like it but okay here go the ponytail part you're going to be wrapping this around with spritz and jam and combing it so it can be you know tight and it looks it don't look nappy so you just go ahead and wrap this around the whole your whole head not your whole head around the you know the core part of your braid And as you can see, you can see how it got that little sleek look. Go over with the that, and I kind of like puff mines out just a little bit. You know, I wanted to try the butterfly effect, but then I was changed my mind at the end. But I still like how I kind of puffed it out. So now we're gonna do these edges, y'all. I need practice with my edges, so y'all have to bear with me when it comes to these edges. Like I try to do my thing; it'll look different tomorrow. But practice make perfect. Like, I'm gonna get my edges where I can do my edges real good. So, yes, I'm not an expert in the edges, but I did my best. So, you know, this is what I came out to. So, this here is my sleek, chic ponytail with a little puff ball at the end. It actually turned out cute. Something real fast that you can do with your hair. 
you know, if you in between going to get your hair done or something, or if you friendly on a budget, like this is very cheap. I think that pack of hair was like $4.99. So you can achieve this look for $4.99. You know, save you some money at home. And that was 72 inch that I had. But here, as you see, I'm playing with my edges. Lord have mercy, it took me a long time to get what I got. Like, I'm, I'm gonna do better with some edges. I'm just gonna keep on practicing. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. Comment down below how I can do my edges good and how did y'all think I did on my sleek ponytail look. But yeah, this is how it came out. Yes, and I'm still fooling all the edges. Like I said, make sure y'all comment, subscribe, and share this video so it can get to other folks and put the thumbs up so I can get in the algorithm. But like I said, thank you for tuning in with Tavuchi as I do me a chic little ponytail. And it's not heavy too. I should just say that. Like it don't feel heavy on my head by it being in the middle. Like it feels soft. So yeah, I'm spraying it with some oil sheen now. But let me stand up and show y'all. See, this is my little chic little ponytail. Thank you all for tuning in to my channel. Y'all have a blessed day.